Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Do for Beginners. Today we are going to discuss one important feature of Voodoo that is my work in progress and that is regarding with my manufacturing. Okay. So here this video I have recorded to just conclude the concept of that work in progress. That what is that exactly? When we have to use it? Does Voodoo force us to post the entry of work in progress? Those all queries will be clear in this sessions and then we will demonstrate the use case on that particular feature. So without wasting the time, let's jump to the database and let's try to understand what is work in progress. I'm just giving one example that we having the business of that custom furniture manufacturing. For that we are purchasing that raw materials like wood planks, that metals, that fabrics from my vendors and that will be stored in my one warehouse. So they are we have we have purchased and they are stored. So that will be a part of our row inventory. We have mainly three types of inventory that is the row inventory, in progress inventory and third one is the finish. So if the product is purchased and that will be stored that it will be my row inventory. Now what is work in progress and what that account explains us. The work in progress accounts explains concludes the value of those manufacturing order that not finished yet but in progress let's make it more more easy that now as we purchase those, those wood planks those metals now those raw materials are issued to our production for making that finished product now that are used in this finished product but that finished product is not manufactured yet that is in progress so now your raw materials just leave the raw inventory but entered into that manufacturing but the that finished product is not completed yet so it is in between between in between from raw inventory to finished inventory so that is my work in progress okay because they are not the part of the raw inventory and they are not part of my manufacturing inventory and third one inventory is my manufacturing inventory after completing that manufacturing product manufacturing order that will be our part of my finished inventory might be this inventory part will be clear now let me jump to that our use case now as we i have discussed that raw materials are purchased that will be issued to manufacturing order and manufacturing order is in progress and at this stage we want to know that how much money and cost is involved in the manufacturing operation at this time yet this is very important yet the manufacturing order is not completed so if we want to track that then it will be used by that work in progress account work in progress entry but now when we have to use that udo doesn't force us to use that working progress account but it mainly used for that long term manufacturing order that long last for that weeks one month or more than one month so at the end of month we want to know that how much money how much cost is involved for that manufacturing order so at the time we can use it it's not preferable for that short term manufacturing for one or two day manufacturing plan so might be all the queries will be clear still have you can drop a message on that video now let's try to understand that let's consider i have created the bill of materials three bill of materials okay my first bill of material is finished product one i am just considering this simple example simple hypothetic product finished one this with my row one and row two now for this product my operation is operation one that link with my work center one and default duration is that everything i have configured properly that work center cost that operation cost employee cost on the hr settings everything is configured properly okay now this is my finished one if i will check that finished two and this is my finished and if you will look into this finish 1 2 and 3 here you can see that we have a uh, options for that consume in operation so i am just going to mention that inform that that row 1 is going to consume in operation 1 row 2 is also going to consume in operation 1 same for that finish 2 and same for that finish 3 okay now let's start the manufacturing order and try to pose the work in progress entry okay so now let me create the manufacturing order i'm just going to click on that my product is finished one i'm just going to do for that one one is going to consume row 1 and row 2 for the four now what i'm going to do just going to confirm it 
okay now what happens i'm going to click on that start now here what happens that manufacturing order is start now at the end of month this manufacturing order will be long last for that one month okay so at the end of month this process is still in progress but we want to name that what the cost is along with that manufacturing order so let's consider at the end of month along this four only three is gonna consume okay so here yeah, let me make it three and this is I'm going to manage the consume and just let me save it and now what happens this is the things this is my ready and now along with that we are going to make this process in ready let's consider expected is my let's make it as a tag okay now this thing is done make it the same this is in progress now we have already assigned this to my pps now if i will look into this manufacturing cost now let me duplicate this and if we will look into this manufacturing overview is that here you can see that there's three three are consumed so for that product okay my row one's cost is 10 so here 3 consumed so 30 is that and here row is 4 so here it's a, it's total is 60 is over here okay now here you can see that the operation 1 cost is currently 1.67 we will look into that that how 1.67 will be there now here what happens let me create one more manufacturing order so it will be more clear now I'm going to do for that finish 2 this is my finish 2 is that let me make it the 4 everything is there now this is my work order i'm just going to confirm it and let me, let me start here you can see that for among 12 let's consider i have consumed only 10 okay just we have to make it as consume so in this operation it's gonna consume and this is my ready now what we am going to do this expected is 40 let me make it the 40 and now this is the in progress this everything is there now let's check the overview and here you can see that cost is there now what we are going to do now if we will look into this my manufacturing order you can see let me make it that status that status by in progress so this entry will be post in the duration of in progress still that manufacturing products are in progress i am doing this for one manufacturing order you can do for those all with one actions and post web accounting entry but i am doing for one manufacturing order to make it more clear now what happens here we are doing this practice at the end of month i am going to click on the actions and this is the post now here you can see that the one pop-up is there generals we have already settled now here you can find the date this we will do at the end of month so date will be the 30 june and what will be the reversal date the reversal date will be the next date of that 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 period let's consider we have make it that 19 so reverse date will be the 20 now here you can see that these three accounts are settled this account settings you can do from that general settings here this is the stock valuation this is cost production and this is work in progress now what is this VIP account that work in progress account will conclude the value of raw materials as well as the overhead in the overhead it will be a labor cost as well as my um, that that work center cost so if you will look into that though though my component value is 500 and my cost of production overhead is the 13.30 how let's check on that so now let me duplicate this my manufacturing order is 6 so let me go to the manufacturing order 6 now here you can see that now raw material 2 cost is 20 and 3 is 30 let's double confirm double check so here you can see that it's a 20 now what happens here we have consumed the 10 so 10 into 20 so 200 will be there and row 3 is the 30 30 into 10 is the 300 so 300 plus 200 so it's a 500 is there so here you can see that the stock valuation is the 500 with credited now how this 13.33 are here okay now let's check on that here you can see that we have consumed the 40 minutes okay so let's go to that my work center in the work centers which work centers we have used the work center 2 is used so if we will check the work center 2 its value 20 per hour okay so it's a 20 per hour so here what we have used 
so let me go to that here just we have used the 40 minutes so based on that we have find that value but along with that this is very important that along with that the employee cost is automatically added in this value okay so let me make it more clear by doing one thing that in this value let me add this work orders value with 60 minutes so everything will be more clear and if i will go to that and let's check the entry for that i am going to that again manufacturing order 6 and if you're going to action and my entry so here you now can see that that again 500 is there and here it's a 40.39 is there so based on that 500 plus 14.39 our this account work in progress account is debited with 514.39 so this is the thing and just we are just click on that post whip okay so now the entry is posted for that manufacturing order so now if we will check the accounting with the balance sheet now let me go to the balance sheet and here it's the current asset so here you can see that the work in progress is that okay with that value but along with that this is one kind of that that account that stores the value of my manufacturing order yet not finished but after the product manufactured this will be nullified so based on that Udo will automatically create one general entry so here it will be a draft so here you can see that both entries will be there so let me go to the status so in the draft itself you can see that okay let me go to that this is my manufacturing order 6 so here you can see that this is the reverse entry of our whip entry as the value are reverses so this is the thing one more thing is that that i have just shown for you for for one manufacturing order you can do it for one two three and actions and post those entries will be there and here you can find the reference for that and if i'm just going to post entry so it will also mention that value belong to which manufacturing order these are the just basic concepts that what is the whip where you have to use and one use case related with that you can try from your sides and let us know if you have something else or something different for this feature we are happy to assist you thank you everyone